Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to get offline Echo VR. Keep in mind, this is offline, so you cannot play with your friends, but I just like it. It kind of fulfills that craving I've been getting for Echo VR ever since the shutdown. I will be honest up front, it's not the same without people, because you can't go to the brawl room and beat up little kids, and you can't block any goals in the public lobby. But in my personal opinion, I just miss hanging out, so I still enjoy it. You can also do AI matches if you want to play some games. They're not the best. There is a random ghost that'll show up from time to time. I'm not sure what they're doing there, but they're there. I'm pretty sure the AI matches are locked at master mode. I'm not totally sure. I didn't play too much AIs, but yeah. So I'm going to start the tutorial now. Um, I sound dead. Don't mind that. Enjoy. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is come to this Google drive link, and this has the latest edition of Echo VR that you could play. So you're just going to click download on it. Um, and it's going to be like, oh, it's a virus or can't spin. You don't care about this stuff. Anyway, so it's going to be downloading. And then while you're at it, you can also download these two right here, the offline echo. And I don't know how to say that, but you can download that too. Okay. And then one thing that pops up with my Google at least is this one says blocked. Uh, just go in and keep, keep. Okay. Now that this is downloaded right here, the, um, latest version of echo VR, what you're going to want to do is with seven zip, you're going to click extract here. It's going to give you a folder. Okay. So it's going to look like this is pull up your files and then go to echo VR in the Oculus directory. I'll have the folder destination in the description. So once you get here, you want to click software and then just drag and drop it in. And then you're going to click replace these files in the destination. But after that, you should be able to click into it and then go to bin windows 10. And then you're going to drag and drop both offline echo and the other file that you've downloaded from the website into this folder. Now, all you want to do, you want to click offline echo. You want to click create shortcut, and then you're going to get this. I just move it to my desktop here. Like that. If you right click it and then go to properties, you can go ahead and add a target right here. So there's a whole bunch of different targets that you can use. They're actually all on offline echo here. I'll leave the private arena, the lobby and the arena match AI in the description. So you can just copy and paste them into it. Okay. So all you want to do is delete this target and then paste. This one's going to be the private arena, paste it into here and then click apply and then okay. And then this should be good. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my Oculus and we're gonna test it out. Okay, it looks like everything works. So this is just the private arena. So I can go ahead and do everything you normally do. Of course, you don't have the cool skins anymore because you can't customize, but you also got personal discs. It's just your own little private arena. Don't mind that, that was terrible. This also works with combat matches, but I haven't figured out how to get them to work. So yeah, that's about it. I hope this fills a little hole in your heart because I know it tore mine when Echo VR shut down. And I thought I'd just make a tutorial because some of the directions were a little confusing. But yeah, that's about it. Like if you want to. I don't care. And yeah, goodbye.